Don't forget to subscribe for more sports content, you know what I'm saying? I'm out here posting. Uh, I'm trying to get two videos every single day during this NBA restart. But when um, the draft comes around, I'm going to be doing draft videos, uh, NBA free agency, all type of stuff like that. And when the NFL come back, I'm going to be doing some NFL videos too. All right, so earlier this morning, the NBA Awards um, finals came out. And I just wanted to talk about them. It's a little bit of um, <laughs> cap ridiculousness on this list. Let's go with the MVP. Let's start off with the best, I guess. MVP, they got Giannis, James Harden, and LeBron as the finalist. I mean, honestly, it's, it's there shouldn't be a finalist for this award at all. Giannis, he's between James Harden, Giannis, and LeBron this season. Giannis had the best season. LeBron, they're not going to give it to Harden, all right? So we might as well just knock that out. They might give it to LeBron, but the only thing LeBron has over Giannis is assists. Everything else, points, rebounds, uh, blocks, steals, you got to give it to it's, it's Giannis. And also, I wouldn't even have LeBron right there. I would have Anthony Davis because Anthony Davis is carrying the Lakers. He's leading them in points, rebounds, blocks. He's leading them in every major category except assists because that's LeBron leading assists. So as far as MVP goes, I wouldn't have LeBron right there, but... Giannis is clear-cut MVP, no discussion at all. Rookie of the year, just another no discussion. John Morant, rookie of the year. Kendrick Nunn, he had a pretty good season, but no. And Zion, you didn't play enough games to even qualify, in my opinion, for the uh, rookie of the year award. So we got next, defensive player of the year. Giannis, AD, Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert, he, for the past two seasons, he's gotten this award, and I don't think they're going to give it to him again. It's between Anthony Davis and Giannis. And honestly, you I'm not even like, <laughs> this is no bias. I know I like Giannis a lot, but no bias. You could give it to Giannis again. You could give Giannis the MVP and the defensive player of the year. Or he was that good this year on defense, man. Anthony Davis, he was pretty good on defense as well. But I think you just got to give it to Giannis, you know, just because defensively, you know, he could guard the perimeter, I feel like, a lot better than Anthony Davis can. Like, in the paint, they're both great rim protectors, but the parts of their game that's weaker is the perimeter defense, and I feel like Giannis is a much better perimeter defender than Anthony Davis is. Six man of the year award, Montrezl Terrell, Dennis Schroeder, Lou Williams. You got to give it to Dennis Schroeder this year just because Lou Williams already won it six times before. Montrezl Terrell, you can make a case for him, but Dennis Schroeder averaging 20 points coming off the bench, that's undeniable to me. You got to give it to him for that award. Most improved player, uh, Bam Adebayo, he's going to win it. Luka Doncic and Brandon Ingram, both of them improved majorly from their last season. But you got to get you got to give it to Bam Adebayo because Luka, he was already pretty good last year. Brandon Ingram, he wasn't that good, but he was at least, I know he averaged over 10 points per game. Bam Adebayo was absolute butt trash last year, G League talent last year, and he's blossoming to all all NBA defensive team possibly you know he's a great defensive player pretty decent scorer as well pick and roll with him and Goran Dragic that's a killer uh combination NBA coach of the year award Mike Budenhoser Billy Donovan and Nick Nurse honestly you got to give it to Nick Nurse after losing Kawhi I thought the Raptors was about to fall off the map I thought they was about to be like ninth tenth seed barely making the playoffs if they did I didn't think they were going to make the playoffs at all, but man, Nick Nurse is getting his team back together and, and bringing them back this year is just astonishing. Billy Donovan, you know, the Thunder, another team that I thought was going to fall off the map, but I don't really give the credit so much to Billy Donovan. Like, I give him a little bit of the credit, but I give a lot of that credit to management, front office management, and Chris Paul. Chris Paul, we all thought he was old, overpaid. He's still overpaid, but he's a pretty freaking great player. Mike Budenhoser for the Bucks. I mean, no. No. <laughs> just no. I don't really have an explanation for that one. Just, you know, the Bucks continue to dominate. They have a great roster around Giannis, but coach of the year, it gotta be Nick Nurse, man. We all thought they were if you were if you were to sit up and tell me last year that the Raptors was gonna be a second seed in the NBA again after losing Kawhi. I would have slapped you in the face and told you you were lying. But here they are, second. They just beat the Lakers a week ago. The Raptors are a dangerous team, man. Like, if they get to the finals this year and they win it, if you told me that right now, I wouldn't be surprised. If you told me in two months from now that the Raptors win a championship, I'd be like, oh, 
yeah, I can see that happening. I can see that happening. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe for more sports content. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here posting. Uh, I'm trying to get two videos every single day during this NBA restart. But when um, the draft comes around, I'm going to be doing draft videos, uh, NBA free agency, all type of stuff like that. And when the NFL come back, I'm going to be doing some NFL videos too. But let me know what y'all think in the comments below. I'm out.